Hi, I'm Joe. Welcome back if you're here, if you're a recurring character in this channel. I'm Joe. And today I'm going to be showing you a piece that I did for a, a commissioner. This is a commission. His name is Atlas. He's a, a satyr, or however you pronounce that word. So this is a, a pretty cool idea that, I, that I, my commissioner gave me. Obviously, I asked for permission for posting this. He said that it's fine. Anyways, he wanted a, 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 a satyr. This is a D&D character. It is a barbarian warlock. Now, at first time I heard that, I was like, I did, I didn't like my mind was making all the all the math to make that work, and it turns out, yeah, yeah, you can you can make especially when it comes to warlocks in D and D, you really can make absolutely whatever you want. <laughs> but yeah, uh, my commissioner even showed me the 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 D and D Beyond character sheet, and I saw it. And boy, this guy is strong. <laughs> it's at level 20. Obviously, level 20 is pretty strong. But uh, yeah, you can get crazy. <laughs> In any case, I kind of wanted to show that level of power. So I made this guy Atlas, is his name. I made him, you can see right there in the in the sketch, that I made him real buff. I was kind of debating on, on what would be the best approach, because when you see... Well, at first time when I, when I thought about satyrs and these kind of creatures, I imagined them very gentle, very fragile, in a visual way, like a slim, nature-loving uh, fairies from the forest. But if you search for references for satyrs, for example in Pinterest, you will find real fast that, that people like to draw them <laughs> very hot. And by, uh, by that I mean uh, they, they make them... They use very buffed models. I'm not saying that that is the only... Anyway, you can see that... I, can, I was glad about it because I had a... a, a I, I felt more comfortable with this... Uh, with this build, especially because he's a barbarian. And so when you think about barbarians, you immediately go to... very strong, very big, rageful entities. That's another thing. Uh, I, wa I kind of wanted to, at first I, I wanted to give him this rageful energy. But the more I thought about it, I thought that it was going to be uh, a little bit more appropriate, given that he's a, he's a Fey creature to make him a little bit more collected. I even asked about that. What kind of expression would the would the commissioner want? And they told me it was gonna be some like battle hardened look instead of a rageful scream or just playing for fun. He will have this stern expression of, of like he has been in a couple of fights or more than a couple of fights. So that's why he looks that way. So yeah, they wanted a, a lot of this vibe, this darkish, necrotic energy. And so I gave him, they showed me this cape, 
my commissioner showed me this cape that you can see right now in the reference window. And that is just perfect because I really love drawing, just flowing in the wind, fabrics, fabrics of sorts. And that is just my vibe. That is just my style. <laughs> so I really love this, this character. You can see here, I'm getting a bit more comfortable with wild poses because if you see my, my, you know, my, my work, for example, in, in Twitter, follow me on Twitter. Thank you. You can see that I tend to go back to the same poses, which I can justify it in a way because uh, I'm not, I wouldn't call myself an illustrator. I think there is a difference between just character design and an illustration because illustration is, it can show you this entire, the entire part of the, of the canvas that you're seeing is part of the design. An illustration will have a, background and well not necessarily this is the way i see it but you know this is my opinion subjective opinion and so i i if I, if any i will say that i am more of a character designer not an illustration and so i tend to draw my characters in such a way that you can see the character you can clearly see every little part of the design of the character, the, 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 the body type, the weaponry, the accession, uh, accessories, excuse me. And so in an illustration, the way, again, the way I see it, an illustration is more focused on the whole piece, the piece as a whole, instead of focusing exclusively on the character and what is the character doing, wearing. Since I do a lot of D&D characters, I, do, I focus more on design and character design. And when it comes, comes to that, I think that is a little bit more appropriate to show the character in a, in a fairly standard pose so that you can see the, more or less a relax, the, the, the relaxed face that they're showing. But I am trying to get a little bit more dynamic, dynamic, however you say that, even. With my poses, I'm trying to get a little more dynamic. Uh, and I'm having a lot of fun with it. This, this pose in particular, I was very proud of because the, I didn't use reference for it. I, I spent a lot of time looking for reference for a pose like this. He is, you can see that he is, he is in, he just struck, he just mid swipe with the, with the four pole blade. And so something like this, I will have to take the picture uh, for myself, which I will recommend. If you can find a, a good reference for the post that you want, straight up ask uh, someone that is around you to take a picture of yourself. Uh, the problem with this, well, two problems. First, you need to have someone around you at that particular moment. And second of all, if you don't, for example, this is, if you don't have the body type that you are trying to depict, you still need some some sort of reference to to adapt this pose that you have with the body type that you want but if that is not a concern to you that is you don't care about that then completely just that will save you from the future, just take a bunch of reference pictures of yourself. I, I used to do that a lot. Uh, I just I just got better at, at, at adapting the, the the poses that are on the internet. Just 
when I discovered that you, that it is better for yourself to to not uh, draw over the the reference, just uh, do it in a, in a separately. You you get more comfortable with just changing the poses, even though if you have the the pose right in front of you, you can take decisions. I guess is what I'm trying to say. Make make decisions, change things. Even though the pose is there, you are not, and you are using this pose, you are freely changing certain things to, to better suit your, your needs. So yeah, like I was saying, excuse me, uh, I uh, just pumped this pose out of my dark corners of my brain. And I am, I am proud of it because I normally, like I said, if you look at my repertoire, you will see that I tend to draw all my characters just standing there. <laughs> just standing there like, hi! Uh, this was uh, a real, real fun. This was real fun. Just coming up with this wild uh, pose. Problem with that is that it took me a real long time to, to get comfortable with it. But you can get better at it with time. Oh yeah, I, I when I started to, to make the, the, the color for the skin, I did the whole hand, but he's wearing gloves. So I was like, God damn it, it's fine. So yeah, this was, this was real fun. This character was real fun. If you ever uh, commission me in the future, well, thank you for starting with, thank you. Second of all, just let me know if you will be okay with me posting the, 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 the rendering process here. I did this entire piece in around four hours, and this is, I had to, to to pump the <laughs> the speed way up. So that, let me let me also know if you will be interested in, in watching a real longer like a longer video. This is less than twenty five minutes, and uh, I don't know. I I I put the speed into into a certain level, and I I have to keep just pumping it up because. It's, you know, it's supposed to be a speed paint. So speed, a, a one hour long speed paint doesn't really cut it. But anyways, I think I'm done with the, with the, with the description. Uh, I'm trying to get uh, better at, <laughs> at uh, being here and talking to you because it could get a, a bit boring. I wouldn't consider myself an entertainer. I, I really have to start making <laughs> uh, scripts, but sorry about that, but but yeah, thank you for watching, I, I hope you enjoy this, and give it a like, please, it helps me way more than you think, and see you, thank you, bye, I love you, oh, the, uh, you said it first.